Hello everybody, Master Builds here, and today I'm doing a review on the Avengers Infinity War Hulkbuster Smash Up. This is set seven six one zero four. Has three hundred seventy five pieces in ages seven to fourteen. I am nine, so I'm good. So we're gonna start off with the box. So this is the box. Yeah, it has um, the minifigures, which are Bruce Banner, Falcon, Proxima Midnight, and an Outrider. And there's the back. It shows what the Hulkbuster can do. And then there's the, the Mind Stone, which I'll get into soon. And there you can see it in play. Now we're going to put the box back down there. And... Comment down below. He was noticed that I have a Lamborghini set up. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get right into the set. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the minifigures. First, I'm going to show you Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner is a pretty cool minifigure, I find. Uh, it's the same from Ragnarok. I think they, sh they could have uh, done better, but this is him. Uh, this is his gamma-eyed face. Just gonna turn that. Just yeah, and so yeah, he has the same jacket as Ragnarok, same back printing. He doesn't have any leg printing. I wish he would have came with like jeans or something. So that's Bruce Banner. Okay, now we'll. We'll go for the Outrider. Okay, so the Outrider has some pretty cool printing on there. Um, if you... Uh, Avengers... The first Avengers, it had the, uh... I forget what they're called, but these are the Outriders. They're like an upgraded version of the uh, Battle of New York aliens. And, um, what's cool is I like their... Their... That printing right there. And you can take off their little back piece... I don't know if that's a new piece or an old piece. But then you have the back printing. I like the back printing. It looks similar to the Satari soldiers. That's what they are. That's what the the old aliens' names are. So that's uh, actually pretty cool. New Outrider. So just going to put that, put that back. And now let's go to this this one. Proxima Midnight. She's a pretty go cool, um, she's a pretty cool minifig. She's a part of Thanos' big happy family. Um, so she has the Kylo Ren hilt. I'm sorry if you hear my family in the back there. Uh, my dad's laughing, so. And you can see it's just a, it's just a lightsaber hilt with uh, two blades on the end. It doesn't have any... She doesn't have any leg printing, as you can see. She has some back printing. Let's just take her hair out of the way. Yeah, she has some pretty nice back printing. You can see her gold arm spreading into her. Let me just put it like that. Sorry if you can hear that. Uh, my sh sister's going in the, into the shower. I'm going to speak a bit louder now. So, now you can see more of that going in. And he, she has pretty good... Opening. And as you can see, she has the angry face. That was Proxima Midnight. Let's move on to the last minifigure, Falcon. Falcon's a pretty cool figure on my part. Um, this is actually the first brick boat wings that we've seen for Falcon. He has these new stickers. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled with the back, but I like the jets that Lego gave him. But, other than that, this is a, well, other than that, this is a, I don't like how it's big gapage between the wings. But, you know what's cool is, um, Lego has given us our first in, inter, in, interpretation, interpretation of Red Wing. Red Wing made his, made his or her debut in Civil War when, um, Falcon said his name is Red Wing. 
yeah, so you can just attach it and then detach it really easily. Yeah. So yeah, I wish she I wish she had some leg printing. Maybe instead of leg printing, maybe they could have put at least dark gray pants. But you can take you can separate this whole wing part. You can separate this whole wing part. Then you can see it's back printing. And yeah, as you can hear, someone's taking a shower in my house. But so you put so those are actually pretty cool minifigures. So I'm gonna move on to the to the ball canyon. The ball canyon is actually pretty cool. I like it because it can hold the time the the soul stone, which I'll review at the end of the video. It looks like they already have it. Sort of looks like this sort of this looks very cool, as you can see right here. You can fire it. See, and then take your other ball. And see, you, you could fire a different one. Yeah, and then you could take your outrider, put him right here to main the uh, the new turret thing. There we go, just shot it. And yeah, that's a pretty cool build. I like how they, how it looks. It looks like, so I got another set of the Battle of Wakanda. This is a Battle of Wakanda set because it comes with the Soul Stone, which I heard it's in Black Panther. And um, I've already seen Black Panther. And no spoilers. Not gonna say anymore. Yeah, this is a pretty cool thing. I like I like the uh, the two sticker sheets that go on these. Pretty cool. If you guys do not like stickers, I don't recommend the set. Now moving on to the Hulkbuster, the main piece of the set. So this Hulkbuster is pretty nice. I do have the um. This dish piece to compare. You can see this one has the newer Hulkbuster has the um, better. The bet uh, dang it. Sorry. So this the other Hulkbuster, the new the newer Hulkbuster has the better printing. Has better printing than the old one, I find. So it's it's a it's a it's a good thing that they didn't reuse this one because. It's it's the same like mold of the piece, but it's just different printing on the front. So these little chest stickers are pretty cool because uh, yeah, we do a new sticker sheet, and as you can see, you can open this up. You can see the axle where the mechanism that I'll show you later, uh, and you can just fit Bruce Banner in there like so. It didn't come with a Hulk, big fig. Um, and then you can see on the bottom of his feet he has a uh, little repulsor. His toes are articulated. That's awesome. Like you can do whatever you want with the toes, and then his fingers are articulated. And um, his, of course, his thumb. He has a he has a um, a repulsor, a sticker right there. I sort of modified mine a bit. I sort of modified mine a bit to make it like that. So it's a little beam that comes out over there when he's doing the fist. So, yeah, there's a nice crotch sticker. <coughs> and his legs, they're, they're way better than the old ones because I don't like with the old one when you can see, like, the big gray gapage right there. I would have liked it if they got that in in the red, but, bummer, but this is actually a really awesome set, and on the back, there's really nothing, and then that brings us, and then the back brings us to our next mechanism, oh, and there's these my upholsters to help them fly, and then, so this brings us to our next me mechanism, when you turn this knob, the axles, 
gonna take Bruce Banner out of there. You can see the axles. They move each other, and this can move. You can plop Bruce Banner back right in there, and you can take your uh, your Outrider thing. Take your Hulkbuster, and you can take that. Yeah, it takes a, a lot of tries. And then, see, so it's up. See how it's up? You have to slam it hard enough to get it to the ground. Okay, so, because this is almost at the end of the video, I will show you the Soul Gem. So, the Soul, the soul Gem. Soul stone. The soul stone. It's pretty cool. It's, it comes it comes with the ring of four because these are really small. So yeah, there's this little thing, and then you can put it in there. I like the new mold for it, but when you take it out, see this little plug? Um, they made an Infinity Gauntlet in the Thanos Showdown, but every every set comes with a stone. This one comes with that, and then this little peg can peg into the Infinity Gauntlet. And then you can just peg it in there. Just peg it in there like so. They're actually using the Friends lineup of um, the hairstyle things. Yeah. So, I find at the end, this is an awesome set. Um, the set, I recommend this for play. Not for collectors recommend this for play not collectors because this is not really accurate but it's actually a really good set i would recommend it for play so yeah that was my review of the hulkbuster smash up has some pretty great minifigures in there so next video will be another lego review as always peace master builds saying peace till next time Bye.